Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? As always, another day, another dollar. What's up with Jay for Life TV? JP, all in that job. Got this in this morning. This is crazy. Let's let's just call her Sister Karen. All right, because this young lady seems to get very upset because a veteran brought in a service dog in the restaurant. Okay. So upset that she made a scene and went off on everybody. Now, did I think she did too much? Oh, yes, she did. She did. Entirely. But, as usual, I'm going to let y'all see it so you guys can figure it out yourselves. And before we get going with that, let's go ahead and show the love. Let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so we continue doing what we do. And I want to say thank you to all my new followers. And I really appreciate what you guys are doing for me. Uh, the numbers are going up, which is great. Uh, we're going to keep pushing this stuff out. I got a bunch of videos coming out now. Um, let's just keep it moving, guys. Let's keep it moving. And for my military... This is to you. This is in honor of you guys. I don't, I don't approve what this young lady did in no size, shape, or form. But as always, who to my army. You know, that's my heart. So let's spin this thing, and uh, I'll let you guys see it for yourselves, man. And then we'll we are talk in between because it's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. All right, hold on. A customer freaks out after she sees a dog in the restaurant where she is eating dinner. It's disgusting to have an animal inside of a public restaurant. But that's not any dog. You can see the Great Dane is wearing a vest that reads PTSD service dog. The Great Dane's master is a military veteran. He's alive because he fought for our country. You know? Congratulations! My husband dead! Fought for the the customer and see <clears throat> this is my thing with that evidently she doesn't know about what a service dog especially for a ptsd um veteran i'm i'm a veteran i've served 27 years i deal with ptsd a lot of my brothers and sisters that deal with ptsd went to war combat whatever so you don't understand it and you sitting there claiming your husband's dad has PTSD or something, whatever you scream, but not, not you. You scream at somebody else. And I guess that's your husband. You sitting there embarrassed because he ain't said a freaking word. He just sitting there like, and that tells me right there. Now, me and my wife showed my wife this thing. And I, we were looking, I said, she does this a lot. She gets loud because he couldn't say it. He was afraid to say something to her because he knows she would have turned all that anger on him. And her eyes are all bulging and she's saying all this stuff. But it was just too much. Too much, lady. Too much. Way too fucking much. Too much. And, and just check this out. Check this out, man. Walks out, but returns and the argument continues. Look at the husband. Opinion. And it's not going to change. You ain't going to change it. You, 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 you. None of y'all going to change it. My first reaction was um, making sure nobody got hurt. I spoke to the vet in the video, retired Master Sergeant Bill Austin, who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. He was at the Delaware Seafood Restaurant with his wife, Janet, and friends, and his service dog, JP. Were you shocked by her reaction? You know, comments about the dog because he's so big, but we've never had anybody get in our face and just scream at us. The angry customer, identified as Ciara Miller, told a local newspaper the video does not tell the whole story. She says she got upset because the dog's backside got way too close to her. She also says she was subjected to racial slurs. Now, I want to question that. Now, this young lady said she was, people threw racial slurs at her. As mad as she was about a dog being in a restaurant, Someone made a racial slur at you. Why you didn't say anything about that? You can't throw that in there after the damn video come out, go viral. Now you embarrassed. Now you want to come back with, well, they, they made racial slurs at me. That old couple didn't make no race. They standing right there. He's standing there. You don't know. 
you fucking with somebody that has PTSD, that man could have knocked the f out of you. All our stuff is different. Some people rage. Some people get freaked out, anxiety. And some just go into attack mode. And some go into protect mode. But you are entirely too close to that man with your hands waving around and all that. I hate confrontation. That stirs mine up. So I'm ready to get with it. So... <sighs> So that's that shit there. Like you said, getting in a man's face. Mm -mm. But the husband sitting there, he won't say nothing because she has done this shit several times and she's done it to him. And he don't want all that shit to turn on him. So he ain't saying nothing. But let's see what this fool continue to say. Because that's why I'm going to call a fool because you act like a damn fool out here. Looking bad, man. Not looking good at all. Not at all. Not bad, my people. Looking bad. Okay. Now she says that she heard racial slurs. What do you say? Nobody said anything racial in nature. We had a mixed race party in there. It's disgusting to have an animal inside of a public restaurant. Some restaurant employees and customers were yelling at her, and that's why she got so loud. Six or seven other people would just start jumping in and just start going back and forth and coming at me, um, making derogatory statements, racial slurs. Let's be honest. I mean, this is a service dog that you're complaining about. And so it just doesn't look good on you. This exactly. wasn't ever even about the dog per se or the veteran himself. You know, when his wife approached me. Now, listen to that. It's not about the dog or the man, the veteran per se. If it's not about the dog and the man, then why are you fussing? You can't turn this whole thing into a racial thing when you've gone for about 15 minutes yelling and screaming about the man and the dog in the restaurant. And look at her face. You can tell she embarrassed now. You looking stupid. Like the dude said, it's not a good look. It's embarrassing. That's why you're caring. you sister Karen now. Ladies, stop getting in fucking public and acting and screaming and fussing every time something happens. Stay calm. And the only thing you had to do was say, if you didn't like the dog being close to you, waiter, waitress, um, do you mind if I move? I, I have a thing with dogs. They would have moved you. That's all you had to do. And if you didn't want to do that, like, I'm going to leave. I just don't like have, I, I don't like the sight of dogs in, in kitchens or restaurants. And you leave. You don't make a scene out of yourself. I mean, a scene out of the whole situation and bulging your eyes out, screaming at everybody in the building. Now, dude, talking to you, now you looking like, well, it ain't about the dog or the man. Well, who the fuck is about the wife? The wife, the wife ain't saying nothing to you. She made it about that. You know, I was simply walking out the door because I couldn't eat in front of animal. It doesn't sound like you're very understanding of this service dog and the needs that this vet has. That's 100% incorrect. So I have an uncle that was in the military who suffered from PTSD, so I'm very aware of you know service dogs in their position and with their now earlier she said it was her husband's dad now it's her uncle because now the uncle done told her that you asked what's wrong see that's what done happened see you just went off because you used to going off and let's just be real i guarantee it's not the first time you've done this shit might be a different subject but you go off in public when somebody say something to you. Your eyes are about to bulge out your fucking head. And we see this so many times out here with our sisters. This shit being talked about on the internet all the time. Y'all going too far. You're getting in men's faces and yelling and screaming like you're going to fight them. You got a dude there. You got your husband there. You ain't thought about how embarrassing that is for him. So now he got to sit there and listen to his wife. Do all this and you're lucky you didn't get arrested for misconduct. But your job, probably see this shit now and you probably got your job in jeopardy. Damn sure ain't no good look because it's a veteran who has PTSD. And you going off on them. Like. Fights them what they're allowed. The veteran is retired Master Sergeant Bill Austin, who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. He was at the Delaware Seafood Restaurant with his wife, Janet, and friends, and his service dog, JP. 
Were there any racial slurs thrown? She still insists that was the case. Now, that's one thing that I don't like is the allegations that we used racial slurs. I don't think that's fair. And I really hope that something positive comes out of this. Uh, number one and foremost, even when we get angry, we should still try to treat people with respect. And see, and the thing is, he come out with a win on this. Now, look at the husband back there. Got his head down. Now, look at her eyes and shit. Embarrassed. Embarrassing the fuck out your man. Because you don't care. You probably arguing and fuss all the way back home. All night. Still over the same shit. And now you all on the news. The guy got to talk to you about this shit. Why you do it? What's going on with you? And then you say, it ain't about the dog or the veteran. The wife said something to you on your way out the door. That's when you came back. But you had sit there and called them all kind of stuff prior to that. You can't go and say something and cry as a victim after you done called these people and cussed out the people at the restaurant. You going off on everybody. You pointing them out. You, 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 and you. All of them. And now you're going to play the victim. They, well, they, they made derogatory statements because they came to the man's defense. That's why. Because he's a sick veteran. He's a disabled veteran. That's what he is. That's who you yelling at, a disabled veteran. We are all considered disabled veterans when you have that. So I don't understand what's your damn problem. I suggest you get some help. It wasn't a good look. Very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. But you viral now. I'm pretty sure a lot more uh, content creators going to get it and push it out some more. But, I mean, all I can say to people, man, you got to do better than this. This is fucking ridiculous. We can be recorded, too, for doing dumb shit out in public. And like we used to tell all the white people out there when they was doing all this shit, mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. You don't own the fucking restaurant. They allow service dogs in the restaurant. If you don't like that, get your ass up and go to another one. You don't go off from everybody in the restaurant because you think it's nasty to you. So if I see an eye dog come in with a blind person, I assume you're going to do that same shit. Hmm? Yeah. But they have these type of dogs for all type of ailments and stuff. These are extremely well-trained dogs. And most of the time when these dogs come, when somebody come in with these dogs, just think back, people, when you've seen one. It's probably sitting down by the, the veteran's feet. They stay close to the veteran or the person they're there for. They don't be standing up. She tries to, the backside was too close to you or whatever. But the dog, once you sit down, the dog sits and lays down on the floor, like sits down beside the person until it's time to leave. They are well-trained dogs. You're not supposed to touch them. You're not supposed to get close to them. Because they are set up and designed to be with that man and that man only. So she got her bulging eyes and looking crazy and screaming. And then you got to look the next day and you're looking stupid on here. But I don't feel sad for you. Not at all. I don't like the shit you did. Because if you'd have done that shit to me, it might have been some problem. I might have asked your husband, let's go ahead and do this. Because you went way too far. You did way too much. Way too much. You yelling and screaming in a public restaurant. And you're probably a mother. And that'll be the sad thing if you're a mother. But people, y'all let me know what y'all think. All right. Uh, hit me up on the comments. And let me know what y'all think of this. I, I, I hate this shit. This is disgusting. Because we, I bet we catch enough shit from people. And so, when we go in somewhere, we don't want to be bothered. You know, it's always somebody fucking with us about something we did. We serve, we volunteer for, we deal with it. 
we don't fuck with y'all out here. So we ask the same thing. Get over it. Get over yourself. Yeah, like a spoiled brat. So, but let me go. I'm starting to get myself upset about this shit. So guys, girls, guys, whoever on here, let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel about it. I'm pretty sure somebody will be on her side. Go right ahead. Get your ass viral next time too. Go in a restaurant screaming and yelling and you will be on my video next too. All right. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button for you guys. Leave if you hadn't hit it and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I'm going to get the F up out of here, man. I can't stand this kind of shit. I'm so sick and tired of this shit. I'm so sick and tired. But you guys, be right and be nice out there. If you got issues, handle it the right way. You ain't got to be yelling and screaming and bulging your fucking eyes out at people. And with that being said, what's up with Jay for Life TV? And I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all take care. Peace. I hate to say it, but this one's definitely in the books. Y'all take care. Bye. Uh -huh.